So the first thing you must do is always apply the avatar from within the Pandora menu, not from the IMVU inventory, but from the Pandora menu. So let's put Chaos Massive on. And then once he's applied, the first thing we must do is put him in a T-stance to make a pose. So we put him in a T-stance. He'll go into a regular size, and that's on purpose so that when you export the poses, you won't get stretching with clothes, so it'll be a regular size avatar. So once he's been applied and you have them in the T-stance, all these sliders become active. So for example, if we wanted to move the head, we can use the slider on here. You can see that to move the head. That is on the front going sideways. We could go vertical if we wanted to. Put that on vertical. Now this is the same with all body parts. Over here you can see this droid. If we click on the different body parts, it activates and opens the sliders. So for example, on the arm left, you have different movements. We could, if we click on the side and then we move the slider, you'll notice that now the arm is moving to the slide. We could then, for example, move the elbow. We could then make a hand posture. So there is a lot of options. Now there is around 2,000, just over 2,000 movements on this avatar, which are controlled by the sliders. But if you get serious and you want a lot more movements, which most people do, then you can purchase the toolkits which are separate products up here, and also the body kits, which come in handy. These are pre-built poses from the waist down and from the waist up. The best thing to do, my advice, is to watch all the video tutorials, and then you will understand exactly how to use these avatars, the Pandora-enabled avatars and the toolkits and the body kits. And also, if you want to get serious and start exporting and selling your poses, you will need the XAF exporter. So make sure that you watch all the video tutorials and enjoy chaos and all the toolkits and body kits.